comic universe. I am Brian, and I am here with my first video. Uh, starting a new series that I'm going to try to do bi-monthly. And I am calling it Nerdy Newsies, where I talk about big news stories. Uh, typically, I would like to do a list of, like, things that we haven't covered yet on the channel, but this is the first episode. Also, two rumors, so to speak, have come out in the last week that involve the MCU and I would like to talk about them and I also want these videos to be kind of quick so let's discuss it two rumored castings now both are only in talks currently but so if they could get in and this would be true this would be Awesome. So first up, Hawkeye, the Disney Plus show. It's even though Clint has a daughter that he nicknamed Hawkeye, they have confirmed that Kate Barton uh, Clint Barton Kate Bishop. My bad, guys. Long day. Uh, Kate Bishop is gonna be taking the mantle of Hawkeye in the show. But everyone's been wondering who's gonna play Kate? Who's gonna play Kate? She is a fan favorite character from the comics. Well, rumor is that none other than Haley Steinfeld is in docs to play her. Uh... You guys most recently might know her from the Pitch Perfect series where she came in in the second one and then the third one. And uh, she was also recently in the Bumblebee movie, which got a lot of great reviews. But what some of you might not realize is she got her start in the True Grit remake, which... Ooh, she was awesome in that. And that was very action-y. So, I honestly think that given her spirit and charm... Oh yeah, also, in case you guys didn't know, she voiced Ghost Spider slash Spider-Gwen slash Gwen Stacy in Into the Spider-Verse. And I think it would be really cool if she became Kate. Because Kate has a certain charm to her, but so does Haley. Uh, Haley also knows how to do comedy, but also how to do action. She doesn't do it as much lately, but she she pulls it out every once in a while. And I think she'd be really cool bouncing off of Jeremy Renner. Now, the next one is the X-Men. Feige himself at the last San Diego Comic-Con mentioned that they are doing something with the mutants in the MCU. So everyone's been speculating about who they could get to be MCU this, MCU that, MCU Cyclops, uh, the, the guy who played SAG on the criminally underrated and sadly canceled too soon Krypton said that he would like to play MCU Cyclops, which I'd all be all for, but we're not here to talk about Cyclops. We're here to talk about Magneto. Now, rumor is, is that in talks to play Magneto for the MCU is none other than Denzel Flippin' Washington. Wow. Now... If you believe the hearsay online 
apparently from what I've heard, supposedly, take this with a grain of salt, but supposedly he was supposed to be in Black Panther but turned it down. But then he saw Black Panther and regretted it. So rumors came out that he was going to be in Black Panther 2. And now rumors are that he's going to be MCU Magneto. Which I would all be for. I know it's going to get a little bit of controversy because obvious. But the man was Malcolm X and Magneto is considered to be the comic book version of Malcolm X. I think he'd be great. He'd be the charming, maybe you could see where he's coming from type Magneto. Where you don't know if you should love him or hate him. And he's kind of got that anti-hero vibe to him. Because need I remind you, he also did Training Day where he was... Very much a character that was, like, anti-hero more leaning towards villain character. But also he's Equalizer, which is arguably an anti-hero. So I think he'd be good. It would be a good way to... Do something new and different so that people aren't thinking about Sir Ian McKellen or Michael Fassbender. I'm all for this, but what do you guys think? Do you think Denzel would be a good Magneto? If not, who do you think? Also, do you think Haley would be a good Kate Bishop? If not, who do you think? Who else would you like to see in the MCU? And do you have any other fan castings you want to talk about? Let us know in the comments down below. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if I screw this outro up, I apologize. It's my first time saying it. But hopefully we will see you guys again in the universe. Till next time and beyond.